scoot up the wing. It's straight, it's strong, it's beautiful. It actually looks like a wing. So now we're gonna start doing some of the other stuff. Uh, next thing I think we do is put on the fault spars on the front and start making the spars for the um, flap and elevators. We'll get to that tomorrow. I'm just gonna touch on the plans for a second. The difference between plans built and the kit. In the plans, everything comes off of the trailing um, edge. I guess these notches are already cut in and you're supposed to lay it in and then take all your measurements off of that. My trailing edge was the last thing I did. And I had to cut all those in myself. So that was the last thing I did. It's basic math. You have your perpendicular here at 13 feet. And then all I did was measure every foot all the way down exactly one foot. You put a mark on your rear spar at one foot. You put a mark on the main spar at one foot. Except that last one isn't quite one foot. It's 11 and 7 eighths or something like that. Then I slid all the ribs into place to approximate where they are. You gotta remember, you've got your dihedral cut on this edge. So that isn't one foot from there to there. But from at the bottom to there is one foot. And you go straight up and you mark it there for that second rib, so it's perpendicular. And then again, it's just one foot, one foot, one foot, one foot, all the way down. Uh, I slid all the ribs in, got them into position. I set up that mock-up that you saw in another video. And then when I thought everything was good and square, I just went back, glued up the main rib first. Glued, 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 glued. Got it all into position. Came down to the rear spar, flipped it down, glued, 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 and then rotated the whole thing up into place, clamped it, and it says double check and double check, and when you look at it, it is straight as an arrow, it's straight as an arrow, it's every one foot, uh, they're all perpendicular, and then, once I had that, the last thing I did was to come and glue up the trailing edge. That's the way I did it as a plans builder. Um, even as a kit builder, I would think that that's fairly basic. These are all one foot. You just mark one foot, mark one foot. If you cut everything square, everything should line up perfectly. One foot, one foot, one foot, one foot. Um, they talk about taking the measurement off of here and transferring on to here and then transferring on to the main spar. You can do that if you've got all these cut for you, I guess. But I would still trust uh, the good old measuring tape to measure one foot all the way down. All right, that's just something I wanted to let people know, especially plans builders that uh, it doesn't describe in the plans how to do that from plans build. So that's all I did is measure. And everything looks really good. Okay, tomorrow, Remembrance Day up in Canada. Uh, I've taken the day and I'm going to start building uh, the fault spars all the way down. DHW 10 and 11, I think that is. And then start building the flap and aileron spars. November 11th, tomorrow, Remembrance Day. 
My dad was in World War II as a maintenance man in the Air Force. Uh, we built our first plane together, me and dad, and it was uh, tube and fabric, and he always told stories about how he was patching up airplanes in World War II, and it reminded him back in the days using linen and dope. So this is kind of dedicated to dad too. He passed a few years ago, but he would love this process. It's just cool. And working with wood is always a good thing. All right, take it easy and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. One thing I'd like to mention, I was just pondering, doing a Horner style wing tip. So, I'm still debating what to do for my next build, or maybe even this one, I'll take this off, this wing tip off, cut it off, and then come straight out to here with the uh, spar webbing, or whatever you want to call it, spar tip, and then come straight down like that and have a, a Horner style wing tip. And then the same thing here, instead of having it straight out, I would come out like this and then down. And then the whole wing tip would be out and then down like that in the Horner style. Anyone got any suggestions? I know that the Dakota Hawk that won the Lindy this year, it looked to me that it had a corner style, but I believe he did his out of fiberglass. I was thinking about doing it still with the wood, same process as this, except have it coming out and then down, whereas this is an A-frame, and I was thinking more out and down like that. And still use fabric to cover it, or however they covered it, this way, your wing bow would come out and it would come up higher and then have more of a slope coming down to the back and then down. But that wing bow, instead of just coming straight here, I'm show you, it would just start up here. So it would start at the very tip, it would come up and then come back down and to the back here. So I was wondering, has anyone tried to do a Horner style with just the wood in the fabric? But that's what I was thinking. All right, that's it for another day.